Hello, um, my name's Jason Rule. Um, I'm just going to try a, a little video just to explain how to um, to try and change the timing chain on a Mercedes 190 SL. Help me. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult to keep the chain tension um, when I'm taking it out, so I don't lose the uh, lose where it is on the sprockets. Um, so what I've done, um, I'll just show you. I've actually spun a, a, a cable across or a rope across the garage from one side to the other. Um, there's a weight on there to give me a little bit of an extra extra torsion on it So when you pull down on here, it actually gives me a, a fair amount of, of Pull from the weight that's suspended over here fairly big weight um, And also on top of that I've got some some little um, You can see that I've just tried right, as you see I've just covered the um, Cover the main area. This is what I was saying about the little chip through just to make me, give me a chance I'll just turn this on. This is the point of no return now. clamp on the, um, the mole grip on the actual chain itself just to stop this from split, splitting because what, what happens turns out is you bang this one in this bends out and then it all gets twisted and um, obviously you don't want to tap this very hard um, if, if I was um, if I was probably more professional I'd have a, I'd have a special um, clamp for, for taking chains off but I haven't got one of those so this is the easy way around um, so just basically tapping it through um, gently, gently, you know, until until this pin comes out. I mean, underneath the board, as I say, I've clamped it um, with clamped up, clamped it with um, with uh, cable ties um, onto the sprocket, which I'll show you in a minute, just to keep the chain in place. Um, I've um, driven the last little bit of the pin out. This is the pin that came out the centre. Um, I've driven that out just with a with a rivet now, just the last little bit. Um, so we're pretty well in there now, ready to get a tension on the chain and uh, start linking uh, linking the new chain into the existing. Right now, this is the setup. Looks complicated, purely isn't. Um, if you can imagine what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be snapping these these ones I held up initially to hold it in place. They can come off. Um, I always feel that <laughs> with this sort of thing, you don't want to. You don't want to get yourself into trouble so slowly is is the key word really so that's what i'm working on um i'm working on slowly so basically i've got if you can see i've got one one holding it on the wheel there one holding it on the wheel there this is just literally just holding the chain out of the way so i can so i can feed through as i'm as i'm needing it but what i'm trying to make is i'm trying to as i unwind it is as i unwind this is reattach it with another cable tie each time um, so at no stage is it allowed to come off the pulley, if that makes sense. Um, it's just a little bit, bit of thing. And these are, the, these are the springs. I've got three on there. Uh, it doesn't need three to hold the chain in place, but basically what I'm doing as I'm going along, you imagine this one here, it's a bit lower than the other ones. All I have to do is just lower it down, hook it on a little bit further down each time. And as it comes up, keep feeding it up and then throw the chain to one side. Um, so I'm uh, say I'm just keeping contact at all times. Yeah. Um, you see that I've just put a piece of cake, a piece of wire on there because sometimes when you clip those little clips on, um, it can sometimes damage them. Not so much putting them on, but when you try taking them off again, it can be a bit of a work up to to not damage them. And I haven't got any spare uh, that size, so um, just better to to. Um, to do it with the wire and hopefully when it comes out I'll just cut the wire and put the clips on when I, when I go to reattach to the other end of the chain. Right so now you see um, you can see this I've got a little bag of personal assistance here uh, which helps me uh, helps me keep the the sprocket on and what I'm doing I'm literally just attaching one at a time um, And it may seem a long job or way of doing it, but to be honest, it's so much safer than trying to do it your own, doing it yourself. Um, these things here, um, the chain's obviously linked out now. So all I'm doing, as I'm, as I'm, the, the, say the top one there, I just disconnect the top one there. 
and touch it somewhere lower each time. So basically it keeps the tension on these. And as I'm as I'm through the wheeling, so I'm just gonna reach down here, as I'm just feeling free wheeling through, you see it just pulling, keeping that tight as I'm going along. And when I get to a certain point, I'll just go down a little bit with one of them. <sighs> Another one, so that's clipped on there now. And then all I've got to do is bring this one down a little bit further. And when I get to the next point where I can disconnect it, I disconnect it. Um, so this one here now, that's held on there. So this one I can, I can just make sure that's, that's nice and tight. If I do that, cut that one off. And then you're gone. Um, so just onto a little bit at a time. My chain link is going down now to go and join, join its friends down the bottom. And all I'm doing is just bringing that one through each time. Don't go too far. I mean, these are three quid a bag of 100. So, you know, if you use a cutler and it doesn't, it's still gonna be a lot cheaper than it is to get it wrong. So just keep linking one, one every every second hole, or every hole, I've done it on that instance, actually not a second hole, every, every hole, just put another link in, make sure she's nice and tight. And then move it along again until till the point where you think you've got traction. And again with these, keep moving them down. Click down one, one click. That one there. Down, down the click again. It takes very little time, but um, it can certainly get you out of a lot of, lot of crease, a lot of troubles. And then just move it on down. That one's coming across now, so again I'll put another one on here before I before I do that again. I say mechanics would hate it. Um, you do it full time, but they would say just get another person to do it. But in this instance, I haven't got another person here, so I'm using my little my little straps as my helpers. And so on, as you can say, I'll, um, I'll keep in touch as I'm going along. But you get the gist, all right? And hopefully, when I put the next, next bit of video on, I will be returning with a big smile on my face and be able to reattach the other end.